AGARD is an attempt to stop Asian hate crimes that are targeting the most vulnerable user segmentation, the Asian elderly. So what exactly is AGARD? From a consumer perspective, think of it as a mobile app that connects Asian elderly with volunteers, allowing them to respond to elderly on-demand requests in real time. And from a developer standpoint, a lot of them are trying to battle Asian hate crimes, but they don't know where to start. Imagine once we have a lot and lots of on-demand requests on the platform, we can dig into the data points and we can offer a data API to empower the developers to solve very specific problems. And we could end up having a ecosystem. Is it a real problem? We've done a qualitative user research and the numbers are pretty solid. We've got folks willing to enroll their parents and we've got folks willing to become our volunteers. Another angle to look at it is that people are trying to solve this problem already. If you look at these major media reports, there are hundreds of volunteers in San Francisco willing to escort Asian elderly when they go out. And there's like these huge WeChat groups where volunteers are being connected to the Asian elderly. So what are the alternative solutions? Uh, mainly kind of for families and friends uh, and for elderly to go through social media or to look for volunteers on specific websites. We don't have time to dig in there, but feel free to pause and take a closer look. Here's our prototype. Um, as a volunteer, I click that. Um, On-demand request it could be virtual, it could also be physical. We envision to have a tiered volunteer system and you have to accumulate a number of vouchers and submit documents to be qualified for physical escort, but everyone can just help virtually. Uh, for example, you can establish a virtual connection with an elderly when they go out and you can just have them turn on their phone camera. In case of an emergency, you can help them dial 911. So in this demo, I wanna go physical. Since this is on demand, I can click this big plus button to um, add a free form request, or I can choose uh, from one of these templates, uh, pick me up, like all the fields in these templates are editable. I can remove a field, I can add a new field, I can fill them out and I can just submit the request. Now as this physical help, you can have a map view where you can see the volunteer on it. Uh, you can call him or you can kind of report him to police if there is some kind of suspicious things going on. And after each request, you can vouch for the volunteer. Now as a volunteer, I can choose offer help. Uh, the second entry point. Now the, this one request on top is recommended by the platform. Either that's something with nobody responding after five minutes or something that the system thinks my assistance is highly valuable. And it stays like on top always um, like a sticky banner and everything else just rotates uh, just kind of like a, a view for a Uber driver. Now when I finish a request, I get points. At the early stage, like getting these points and leveling up means I can, uh, I can have certain privileges, like having more filter options when I go through my list of requests or I can collect the badges. Uh, but at a later phase, when we establish partnerships uh, with our other communities and charity and organizations, we can allow our volunteers to redeem these points in exchange for benefits like free tickets. Now, from a uh, engineering perspective, we implemented the main backend logic for this bi-directional on-demand request uh, with a simplified HTML front end. So over here, I log in as elderly. I can put in the request, confirm, uh, submit it, and I can log in as a volunteer. Um, and once I log in, I can see the, all the requests and I can click accept.